Good day. I'm the Reverend Ronald Nathan. I am the Senior Minister of the Whole God AME Zion Church in Jackson and St. Michael in Barbados. Our meditation comes from the book of Proverbs and we are in the 20th chapter, verse 10 and 23. Today's Proverbs deals with the issues of partiality and dishonesty. Proverbs 20, 10 and 23. Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Verse 23, the Lord detests differing weights and dishonest scales. Do not please him. On many occasions, we have heard the saying, honesty is the best policy. Solomon declares in two proverbs in this chapter that God detests a cheat. Manufacturers, market sellers, are all required to be honest in their weights. They should have standardized weights that apply equally to all persons. Could it be that the same ought to be said for judges and magistrates, examiners and teachers? What is the intent of a person who uses differing measures and differing skills for different people. It is to cheat, to be dishonest, and to be partial, to make ill-gotten gain, whether that be for power, favor, or for money, is against the will of God. There's an African proverb that says, things that are stolen will really never make you rich. This Zambian proverb alerts us to the short-term benefits of cheating, for that is what happens when we are corrupt and change the terms and conditions of contracts based upon who is standing before us. To give favor to the rich and influence and to steal from the poor deserves God's wrath. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. May God bless you with eyes to see, ears to hear, a heart to receive, and hands and feet to share his wisdom. Amen. If this meditation has blessed you today, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our link with your contacts, and give us a thumbs up. God bless you, and have a great day.